kind of got a weird project now. I have so many projects, but I, I gotta build this one. So a friend of mine wants me to build a moped for him. He's actually gonna pay me to do it, which is awesome. So uh, start off with what we have. It's a 1980 uh, Pook Maxi, uh, completely stock minus this muffler. Um, doesn't currently run, but I'm going to attempt to get it running. And then I'll compare before and after. So he wants me to, to pretty much build it to look cool and uh, go a lot faster. So doing an engine upgrades, uh, some paint, and some other little things to it. Um, it's gonna be interesting. So. I was really easily able to get it started. Um, messed around with the choke, um, threw a little bit of ether in there just to fire it up. I mean, we're changing all this, so it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go get a top speed on it uh, and see what we're looking at on trying to improve the performance. So I just took it for a drive. Uh, max speed was 25 downhill and, oh well, no, it just died, and 20 uphill. Um, it was running great, not great, actually it ran horribly, uh, but it's not a big deal because I'm rebuilding everything on it, so let's see if I can get started. I have poop and lift, I have 90% of the parts ready to go, and I think I know where I'm gonna start. It's going to be a little weird why I'm going this direction, but I think it will make sense. So first, let me show you what I've noticed with the bike, uh, and then I'll tell you what I'm going to be doing next and the order to, to get this thing going. All right, here's the bike. Um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the seat and put the new seat on, which, where is it, right here. So here's the new seat. Um, it's bigger, but I'm gonna have to modify this. Uh, this bracket still sticks too high, and it's actually meant to work with a basket. So you actually clamp it on top of the basket and it slides in here. Um, it's still too high, it sits about that high. Uh, I wanna get it as low as I can, but not run into this or lean on the fender too much. Um, then I'm going to attack the engine. And the reason why I'm going to do that is I want to make sure it is running and works well before I go into all this stuff and making it look pretty. Um, I want to just do the seat so, one, it's more comfortable and it, I think it's the one thing you can do to make it look drastically different. Um, so I have that. Then I have the 70cc kit um, with a head. Uh, this exhaust I cannot think of the name of it right now this is like a bi turbo style I it's different than the one I have it's a lot smaller um, definitely not a stock pipe so gonna remove this or maybe it is stock I don't know it's been so long since I actually had a stock pipe that I can't remember what it looks like um, so I'm gonna remove that and do the engine stuff this cover is dented here and I'm thinking if I can find one on eBay cheap I might do that um, or see if I can knock this out a little bit and just paint it or something. Um, so there's a lot of different things. Got handlebars for it. This was actually for my BMW, um, but I think it's gonna work perfectly for this. The only thing is, is this is a lot wider than it should be. So I'll have to hack off the ends of that. Uh, then there's little things like suspension, pedals. Uh, I know this is probably like the Magnum style pedal. Um, it's cool and all, but I don't know, it just doesn't, doesn't fit. So I think I'm gonna replace those. Um, 
and go from there. So I think I'll just start off modifying the seat. All right, so I got the, the basket off and the seat off. This slides in here like that. And then it sits like that. It's still a little too high. I don't like this empty space here. So I need to drop it down like two inches. And the way you can do it is a friend of mine, he cut it and welded it. But what I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut it, bolt, build a bolt on piece there, and then, I don't know how to explain it, but make it so I don't have to change these points and then have it as a bolt on piece instead of a welded piece. That way, this cover, this vinyl does not come off. It's not like the uh, original Pook seats where you can just peel off the vinyl and I'm afraid of melting or destroying this seat. So I don't really want to weld on this. I think I'm just going to cut this off, mod it, bolt it so it's strong and keep it like that. I said I wasn't going to weld it, uh, but I decided I was going to. Uh, so I used the bracket from, I mean, from the side might be better. I used the bracket from the basket and I welded it to the mounts there and actually it lined up pretty good. This bolt's right here and they should be good to go. It is at a much better height. I like that you can't really see through it that way. Um, still a little higher than I personally like, but I think it looks good for here. Um, so the next step, I think I'm just gonna rebuild the engine. Uh, more, not really rebuild, but throw in a new piston uh, and bigger cylinder and I'll do that. Got the cylinder apart, uh, pulled it off, got the pistons off. You can drastically tell the difference between what we have. Uh, this is only a single ring, this is a double ring. And it's really cool because unlike other automobiles, there's this little groove here and then you can line it up there perfectly so you don't have to worry about making it, make sure it's right. Um, but you can tell how big, this is the 50cc, this is the 70cc. Um, it was a pain in the butt trying to get the exhaust off. It looks like someone's been down here and it has a fin that's broken and uh, it's, it just seemed really crammed in here. Also, a weird thing is on the head bolts, 
there are two different sizes. This is a 10 millimeter and this is a, uh, an 11 millimeter. And for some reason, they're both on the head, which I don't know why that is. I think what happened is the 10, someone had this apart at some point, and this is actually for the intake manifold, or these were just added. I don't know if those are actually part of it, because it should all be 10 millimeter, not 11. So I'm not really sure where that came from. So the next step is to place the piston back in, uh, put some oil inside the cylinder to pre-lube. Um, I think I might actually, before I even do that, just because it's a little bit easier, on the underside, on the exhaust port here, I'm going to put in the studs. Um, it comes with these studs here. Um, also, the clips that were on here are two different clips on the cylinder. That was weird. They're not supposed to be, unless this is actually broken. I thought it would be more like those ones there. Yeah, that looks like that, but this one is a different style clip. So I have a feeling this was a part before. Um, so I'll do that after I get the studs in, put everything in line, and then once I get everything together, I will uh, do the timing on here. Uh, you can see where the points are. Um, I did it once on my other moped, uh, so I have to go relearn it because it's been like two or three years. A little pro tip when installing the pistons. Um, on this piston, it has an arrow. The arrow should always be pointing towards the exhaust port. So in this case, the exhaust is going to be at the bottom. So on the pooks, the usually the arrow is going to point down. Now, if you don't have an arrow or a triangle or anything indicating the direction, you go by the ring gap. The ring gap is actually gonna be on the uh, intake side. So if you have the where the ring gap is here, it's gonna be intake, the bottom is going to be the exhaust. Now, the intake isn't gonna be exactly in that location, but the closer it is, that's how you know there. Um, also, pre-lubing the cylinder uh, is easier, and also the uh, connecting, not connecting rod, um, I forget what it's called. Pre-lubing those, I'm gonna use two cycle oil. It's gonna help help it slide in smoother, plus since this uses, doesn't have its own oil, it uses the fuel as oil, it helps to lube it, um, especially through a break-in period. Um, so I'm gonna hit that up, and uh, hopefully that all goes smoothly. Bike is wet, and uh, it, it works. Uh, 38, I think I got with the GPS. It's raining, so I didn't push it real too hard, but uh, 38 is not bad without even tuning the carb yet. Just going down the street, so, I mean, it fires right up. Um, the only issue with this, though, 
is I don't know if this exhaust was built for or built for um, actual pedaling because see how close it gets to this if you try to pedal your foot gets knocked off because you get it hits that so just doesn't really make sense I also had to bash this in a lot not really bash clear it uh, I just why why would they put it right there you can't probably for the people who just put rods in here and just uh, use it as like a motorcycle than an actual pedaled moped. All right, so the next step is to clean my mess and then uh, start figuring out more cosmetic. Um, I just threw the shocks on because I had to take it off anyways and I just wanted to see how the colors look. I just noticed there's no bolt here. Did I just ride it with no bolt there? I am an idiot. 